What's going on, YouTube? I'm back with a video. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing an oil change on my Built 5.7. I'm going to give y'all a little walk around real quick. I ain't nothing too much. I also got a pulley right here. And it's, uh, well, my belt and my pulley. I need to change that out too because my pulley went bad. But that's another video for another day. Today, we're working on this oil change. Got my oil filter. Got my summit racing oil. I'll show y'all what it look like. So, with my built car, I can't just use, uh, what's the regular oil, what's like 5W30? That comes uh, on the cap of the uh, 570. Gotta use 10W30. Lucas. It's a good oil, especially for racing cars, built cars. I had a made a little I But I got like eight quarts, nine quarts. So just, just in case. It's my first time doing the oil change, so I really don't know how much it's gonna take. Usually it takes about seven quarts. But today Another one. Got all my oil ready. Got everything ready to go. Now, I just need to shit, guys. Ugh. What it looked like, I see that pro charge. What it looks like up here. So, first thing first, we got to take off that screw. It's a 13 millimeter, millimeter. And then, second, we have to take off this big guy. So, with my car, I'm running a big Mopar filter. Ugh. And that pretty much get the job done. I don't really want to run nothing else. The small ones. It's not really sufficient. It's a cheap brand too. So, uh, also get some jack stands. Don't be like me. It's very dangerous. But I should be uh, I should be up under there from I should be from up under there really quick. So let's go ahead and get this thing done. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this bolt untight because that thing is damn near stuck. So let me get that untight and then I'm gonna come right back to you. Boy, that thing was so hard to get on. Check this out. Uh. Finally got that thing off. After probably about 10 minutes. Ugh. All right. So I don't have no oil pan, but I got my son truck. <laughs> the back of his tow bed with his little car. But here it is. I'm go ahead and take this off. And honestly, I need an oil change. When I checked it, I didn't see no oil in it. So I wouldn't be surprised. This is not a lot of oil. Satisfied. Yes, sir. So while that's draining, I'm gonna wait for all that stuff to come on up. And then we're gonna take off that filter right there. That's almost done. Mmm, got a little smell to it. No, oh, it don't smell straight like E85, but it does have a little smell to it. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and go ahead and prep this guy. Oh, that's doing that. This is the oil filter. It's the Mopar one. 
It's definitely a bigger filter than most. Got all your instructions. But what I want to stress, when you are putting on your oil filter, make sure you can do this the first step or the last step, but make sure you oil around this ring. So next time you go to take this off, it's easier to come off or it'll be easy to come off. Let's see. Let's get all my tools up. Another thing you want to do, make sure, make sure you got your tools next to you because ain't no telling what you might need in this job. Got to have those tools right next to you. So what I'm about to do is, man, that I'm running E85, I kind of want to get a closer look on the inside of that hole to make sure that I don't have like no build up nowhere of the E85 and the, the oil mixing, if that make any sense. But usually with E85, you get like a constant buildup of this yellow stuff. It's kind of look, kind of look like cheesecake or like pumpkin pie or something like that. You can literally slice right through it. Like it's kind of like it's kind of like grease when it's all dried up and and clunky and stuff like that. It's kind of like what E85 does. So I'm gonna double check it. Oh, I think we good. Also, I already got some a little bit of oil on here. Go ahead and do that while thinking about it. All right, let's move on up here to the top. All right, so this is my engine. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look regular. Uh, Holly manifold. Your oil is gonna go in here. Make sure. Yep, oil is gonna go in here. Uh, gonna double check that. See anywhere else for it to go. So, yep, that's a dipstick. Check your oil and everything. And yeah, that's my baby. Oh yeah, I'm doing some other work, so don't worry about none of this stuff. We're gonna get that together. Oh yeah, first time doing an oil change. It's a breeze, it's pretty easy, bro. This just probably saved me $100, $130. Real easy, bro. It's nothing. And I got a built modded 5.7, like, this ain't no normal 5.7, bro. And I'm doing my own oil change on it. So that means you can do it too. You definitely can do it too. Just needs you a jack and a couple tools. That's it. And some time on your hands. But I'm just trying to make sure all that oil is dripped out. I'm going to go ahead and take this filter off. Take you guys under here with me. Let's go ahead and grab that guy. Right here. Let's go ahead and grab it. I already felt it. It was already kind of loose, so I'm just going to go ahead and just grab this. It's coming off pretty easy. Just drop them. Oh, there it is. Ugh. Oh, got two weeks. I don't know what's gonna happen like that. Go ahead and let that drain out. Can't even see it. What we can do now is finish prepping our oil can. Take some of this lupus right here. Clean my hands off real quick. Make sure I don't have no debris that's going to get in there. So what you want to do is go ahead and fill this up. Go ahead and let 
let that sit in there. And I'll take a little bit of this, even though I already did it. Just take a little bit more, it doesn't hurt. Just wipe that around the edges right there. Get it real nice. Drop a little bit more of this in there. Let that go and bubble on down, bubble on down. So when you're going to put this stuff back together, guys, make sure you do the reverse order. So the first step we did was take off the screw and let it drain. And then we took off the filter and let it drain. So going back, do everything in reverse. Put the filter on first, then you put the screw back on. In that order, guys, should be pretty simple. I'll make sure this is pretty filled up. I don't want to half step nothing. It's getting pretty full. Drop a little bit more in there. Put that bubble on down. That screw was hard to get off, but I'm I'm gonna put it on tight enough to where I don't have an oil leak. And I'm also cut the chrome and everything to make sure I don't have an oil leak. Sit and let it run for five minutes. Uh, five to 10 minutes, just let it idle so all the oil can rotate through it. Um, but I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow because my battery was dead. And I just dropped it off at Advanced Auto Part to get charged up. So it's gonna take about 24 hours for it to charge up fully. So I gotta go get it tomorrow. But I think this is pretty good. We're gonna take our towel, kind of wipe up under here. Now we got everything hooked up from the bottom. We can go ahead and apply our oil. And take off this oil cap. Look at that. That's what I was talking about. The yellow stuff, that's the E85, that ethanol. Look at it. It's kind of like, when it gets so thick, you can, you can actually carve through it. Like It's crazy. I'm going to go ahead and clean this off, too. Um, oh. All right, clean side. Just wipe that off up in there. And get your funnel. Go clean it off. Alright. You got that clean. And finish this one off. This one we already opened. Really like one and a half, but we're gonna count this one. We're not gonna count the other one. Just go ahead and do a little slow. You ain't gotta do it fast. You don't gotta rush it. You gotta pack it all in there at one time. 
Just let it do its thing. All right, so I got kind of hot. I had to go take my, my hoodie and stuff off, bro. But got all our oil in. We good to go. Only thing left to do is to start her up. Let her idle for a minute. But like I said earlier, we can't do that right now because I don't have my battery. My battery is at AutoZone. I mean, Advanced Auto Parts. So till tomorrow, I'm going to give you the start up. Let everything... I don't want through and I'll be back in just a minute with the startup. All right, YouTube. See where I'm at. Just came got that battery. Yes, sir. Good to go. Let's go home and get this thing all hooked up. Be right back. All right, YouTube. Made it back to the crib. I got the battery all hooked up. Now, time to start this guy up. thing let's go ahead and reset this oil life make sure you got your car and run but not on you know oil life gonna hold okay that's simple 100 back in the game that's it and that's how you do your oil change your built fast, Yeah, to the next one. Running by river, can't fall with no fate. When he said he my brother, he really a hater. Come to the spot, man, you know we got flavor. Design of my joy, you on shot like a race. We for the chain, and you gon' meet your maker. I be with robbers, I be with tangles. 